The Composition API in Vue 3 is phenomenal, but the one thing that makes it truly great is TypeScript. And I have a few tricks for you, tricks you will want to know about when getting started with TypeScript in Vue 3. Vue 3 is built with TypeScript, which means that your apps and your IDEs are going to love it. However, getting started or migrating to TypeScript with Vue 3 is going to cause some breaking changes and I'm here to help you get started with TypeScript in Vue 3. Here is what I want to cover with you today. One, we're gonna start a new application with TypeScript and Vue 3. Now this is also gonna be useful for those of you who have a Vue 2 application in TypeScript and want to migrate over to Vue 3. It's gonna be interesting. Two, I wanna show you how you work with uh, components in the new way, in the TypeScript way. Three, I wanna help you solve some of the common problems that you're gonna see in the beginning. If you're learning Vue 3 or migrating from Vue 2, you're gonna notice that things are a little bit different, but don't worry about that. They are just different. They're not more difficult. In fact, I believe it's a little bit easier now to work with TypeScript in Vue 3. Okay, so our first step is to use Vue CLI and create an app that I'm gonna call Vue3TS, like TypeScript. Okay, now we are at the point where we choose the preset. I'm gonna choose manual, and for now, I'm not gonna choose anything else. I'm just gonna go on with TypeScript. Everything else is okay for me for now. Yes, class style component syntax is fine. Babel is also fine. And I like Predator, so I'm gonna use that. Lint and save, that's totally fine. Whatever you like from here on. Okay, now remember, we are using Vue CLI. And this, at this point, this is going to create a Vue 2 project, right? Because Vue 3 at this point is still in beta. So our next step for this TypeScript project is going to be to add uh, Vue Next into this project as a plugin, right? This is basically migrating from Vue 2 to Vue 3. Okay, so for this to work, we need to CD into Vue3TS, nice. And since this is now still a Vue2 project, we are going to upgrade this to Vue3. Vue add Vue next. And let's open this project in our IDE. I'm using VS Code, you're free to use whatever you would like. Okay, our project is here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to see the differences now that we upgraded from Vue2. So let's take a look at this panel right here. So we see ESLint has been modified a little bit. The one thing you're going to notice is that now we use Vue 3 Essential and not, not just Vue Essential, obviously, because some of the APIs are different. Okay, in packages, we see that we are using a Vue 3 beta. Don't worry about beta.1. This basically means uh, this is the minimum package, but it's going to install the latest. Uh, we see that ESP uh, Lint plugin has been upgraded and um, compiler for single file components is using the new beta standard. Finally, main.ts TypeScript file, and this is going to be the same in every uh, new Vue 3 application, but it's called .ts. However, not everything is going to work, and I can verify that by going to the terminal and starting the application. Okay, the debug console is showing errors, and I see two issues. Uh, oh, shims.tsx and shims.tsx. This is one of the first gotchas you're gonna want to know about. The shims are new, and uh, the CLI is not going to upgrade them for you. I'm gonna need to pull them up from uh, one special place, and this is going to be, wait for it, the view router page. Okay, so I opened the Vue Router Next Playground in GitHub and I can see the shim.d.ts. Now this is the shim that's currently recommended for Vue 3 and the TypeScript. Uh, I'm going to copy this file and um, I'm going to go into the code. I'm going to find my shims that are under the source directory. We see shims.tsx and shims view. So shims view are going to be this new thing, right? Import component from view and, and export default component. And this is how uh, TypeScript is going to know about view type safety. And uh, shims.tsx, I don't need that right now. So I'm 
safe to delete it. Move to trash, okay. Let's uh, clear this and restart the application. Okay, now we see new warnings. This is totally fine, and I'm gonna help you resolve this. Let's, let's minify this terminal right now. In fact, I'm gonna close it for a bit. Okay, I happen to know where the issues are, and if I go to app.view, I'm gonna see a lot of red underline uh, in the API, and it's kind of yelling, screaming, Houston, we have a problem, and I'm here to help you fix this. The uh, view two, way of writing component is no longer going to be useful. So you know what? I'm going to delete this whole thing. I'm also going to delete the view property decorator because we no longer need it. All we need is the stuff we can import from view. And this is a new function, believe it or not. Import define component from view. Okay. So it's actually a function and I'm going to export default just like previous define component and this is all we need. The rest of our work is going to be the usual building view three classes, component as classes, right? Just as we did without TypeScript, it's, it's really nice. Let's, let's take a look. So one thing that I need to export is the hello world component, component Right, and it's gonna be an object of components, hello world. And this is everything that was required to migrate app.view into this new way of writing components. It's that simple. I have another component, hello world. This one is going to break as well. If I go down, go down. All right, here it is. Again, view property decorator, no longer needed. So I'm gonna drop this and I'm gonna import define component again from view. All right, doing the same thing. So let's keep this and see how um, this new component is gonna be different. Export default, so I'm not using class, I'm gonna use define component, right? and I'm gonna open this and use components like this. Properties are going to look similar. Props are gonna look like this. Message, so same as the MSG right here. So message, or another thing I could do is I could delete this and use an object, say message, and make it a string. I could do that as well and delete the uh, array. So this, this is gonna work, and I also need the name, okay? We usually do write names for components. The name is hello world. Can it be any simpler than this? I no longer need this legacy approach to writing TypeScript functions, and notice script language is TypeScript as you expected in view two, but I just use define component. Hello world, I expect message prop to be a string. Let's take a look at our console. Look at that, look at that, it's green. No errors. Now let's prove that this is gonna work by copying this URL into our browser. Or I can use command and click. And this app works, but uh, not what I expected. Let's see. Fail to resolve component hello world. Now this looks unsettling, but as we already said, <laughs> there's always an issue when live coding. All right, so let's see. Uh, this is this is good. Let's go to app of view. Oh, I see it. I see it. I was too fast. Components. Ah, uh, components. Man, I missed this. Go back, and this works now. <laughs> That's great, that's great. I made a mistake, I fixed it as components, not components, sorry about that, but you know, this is it. <laughs> this is all you needed, you just migrated from view two to view three, or you just started your new view three application with TypeScript. How great is that? Great job. Um, now I wanna show you one more thing, just to prove that the uh, component um, composition API works. Let's go back to hello world, 
and see how that really does work. So props, and then I'm gonna use the setup function. And in setup function, I'm only gonna spit something out. Console.log ViewTubers. <laughs> this works. Okay, uh, and go back, open the console, and it's there, this works, the setup works. Uh, if I go back, you know, make sure, and this is Composition API, make sure you do everything through setup. You no longer need those nested objects, you know, watchers, that's no longer need, needed. Everything goes through the Composition API. Uh, I'm gonna be releasing a video on how View 3 Router works uh, in a little bit, so make sure you subscribe. I'm also gonna be releasing you View 3 videos that are super exciting, super awesome, if you're into View 3 and who wouldn't be, right? In the meantime, uh, I recommend you help the View 3 team by contributing file issues, uh, maybe talk to your bosses to set up you know, recurring uh, financial support for uh, this open source project. I hope you're benefiting from, from uh, Vue 3 as much as we love working with it. Uh, stay with us and see you in the next episode. Thank you for sticking with me. Cheers.